Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Eric's Everyday Watches. Today, I thought we'd do something a little different and something that I've never done on this channel before. And that is to take a look at five watches on AliExpress that I am keeping my eye on. Now, all of these are very affordable to begin with, but with their 11 and 11 sale just around the corner, maybe, you know, maybe they'll drop down to a point that they're an absolute no brainer. We'll know once we see the sale prices. Now, one of these watches I actually went ahead and purchased just a few days ago. I wanted to get it in for review and I didn't wait for the sale. I might end up regretting that once the seal sale price, I don't know. But now I want to be completely upfront with you and let you know that the watches I'm showing you today, I have never seen in person. I have no hands-on experience with these watches. But just like you, I'm always on the hunt for the next watch and I am constantly on the lookout. So I will share with you why these five caught my eye and I'll also leave links in the description down below in case you decide that you're interested in. So let's get on with this video. Now, first up is the Tandoro Diver, an obvious homage to the Circa 5303. Now, this is the watch that I went ahead and purchased already. Now, when I bought it, it was listed for 72 US dollars. With the store discounts and some AliExpress coins, my total was $64. I know that sounds unbelievable. Now, what I like about this watch is that it comes with the option of the NH35 movement, and that is a rock solid movement. As I've said many times before, that is the movement I prefer in an affordable watch. Now, keep in mind that that does not actually guarantee anything. The factory still needs to install it in a clean environment and not mess it up. But at least we're off to a good start. Another thing I like about this is while it's an homage, and I do have that white dial, black dial, black combo bezel, they also have this white dial blue bezel combo, which Circa does not offer. Now this watch has three colorways to pick from, and you can also have it with or without the logo. They all look good, but personally, I think that black hands on the black dial may be a little hard to see. So personally, I would stay clear of that one. Now besides the NH35 movement, you also get to choose between that and the PT5000 movement for roughly $30 more. As far as specs, the case here is 316L stainless steel. We have a diameter of just under 40 millimeters and a lug to lug of 48 millimeters. So this should fit a seven inch wrist just fine. Now the watch is listed as coming with sapphire crystal, but there is no mention of an AR coating. That is one of the things I'll be looking at when I get this in for review. We do have a screw down crown, a water resistance of 20 ATMs, yeah, although I've heard some mixed reviews online about their water resistance. There is a ceramic bezel insert. Now the type of loom is not listed on this website, so that might be a little bit of a gamble. But keep in mind, this watch is well under $100. As I mentioned, I picked it up for $64 US dollars even before the sale. So there are bound to be some trade-offs with that price. Now the second watch that I'm keeping an eye on is this San Martin GMT. Now before the sale, it is currently listening at just under $280 US dollars. And what I like about it is the fact that it's an original design. <laughs> yeah, not too many of those in AliExpress. My hope is that there'll be more and more originals coming from the Chinese brands. And if the San Martin is any indication of what's to come, I'm very, very excited about that possibility. There are two colorways here, and I think they both look sharp. Personally, I would go for the blue one of the Beads of Rice bracelet. I also like the fact that there are applied indices. And you can tell that the brushing on the lugs matches the direction on the bracelet. Even the date window has been color matched here. Now this watch comes with the NH34 movement and you might notice a pattern of the watches I'm showing today. That Seiko movement is hard to beat in an affordable watch. For specs, the case here is stainless steel and we have a diameter of just under 40 millimeters. There's a lug-to-lug -lug distance of 46 and a half millimeters 
And it also comes with a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Now there's a screw down crown and a water resistance of 10 bars. And for loom, we have BGW9. Now obviously San Martin has made a name for themselves. And from this one store alone on AliExpress, 259 people have bought this watch. Obviously you're getting a lot for your money here. Even at $280 for these specs and an original design, I think that is really a lot of bang for your buck. Now my third watch might look familiar to you and you know it really should. This is just a slight variation on the last watch, except, except that San Martin refers to this one as a limited edition. They say that these green and orange color watches are limited to 99 pieces each. Originally, I was going to refer to the screen color as lime, but I think you'll see why avocado might be the intended name here. This limited edition is currently listed at just over 320 US dollars. And just like before, there are two colorways here. Again, they both come on the beads of rice bracelet, but here they throw in a nylon strap with these limited editions. Now the specs are identical to the last watch. We still have the applied indices, the date window color matches, and we still have the NH34 movement. The case is 316L stainless steel. Diameter is under 40 millimeters. We have a lug to lug distance of 46 and a half millimeters. The sapphire crystal comes with AR coating. We get 10 bars of water resistance and the loom is that BGW9. The fourth watch that I'm keeping my eye on is this C Stern Skin Diver, model S434 version two. I always love the look of a skin diver. It's a dive watch with a little old school charm to it. And this one is under 200 US dollars. True to many of the watches on AliExpress, this one, this is another homage. But the glass shoots original CQ is not a watch that many people are gonna be familiar with. And certainly not the general public. Safe to say that it is unlikely you're gonna be wearing this one out to dinner and have anyone coming up to you asking if this is the glass suit's original CQ. Now the watch comes between 189 to 249 US dollars. There are two strap options and three colorways here, black, green, blue, as well as some two-tone options. Now I am surprised to be saying that I think the two-tone black and the two-tone blue might be my favorite. They look stunning. You also notice the ones on the white background come with the Seagull ST2130 movement and the images on the black background with the NH35. For specs here, we have a case made of 316L stainless steel, diameter of 39 millimeters, a lug to lug distance of 45 millimeters. It comes with a sapphire crystal as well as water resistance of 200 meters. For loom, there is BGW9 and we also have an exhibition case back. Now the fifth watch that I'm keeping my eye on and the one that I'm calling the gamble is this Hoodlin F019 Galaxy Command. I am not at all certain I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I am just gonna go with Hoodlin. This is the brand I think it is least well known and that is why I think it's a little bit more of a gamble. So this is another homage watch. This is homaging the Block Pond Air Command. Now what I like about this is the fact that it is quartz, but not just any quartz. This is using a Seiko VK64 Mega Quartz. So it is a flyback movement. Sugress also homages this watch, but theirs is slightly larger and they are using the Seagull ST1901 movement. Now that is a beautiful movement, but it's strictly mechanical. It is not automatic. I also like the fact that this one is smaller and it does not need to be hand wound every day. Now this one comes in at 169 US dollars before the sale. As I mentioned, it's using a Mega Quartz movement VK64. The case here is 316L stainless steel. We have a diameter of 40 millimeters, a lug to lug distance, of 48 and a half, so it's fairly compact. You get a sapphire crystal, 
again, though, it's, there's no mention of any AR coating. It has 10 bars of water resistance, and it is illumined with BGW9. Another watch just seems crazy for the money, even before the 11.11 sale coming up in a few days. Okay, my friends, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and consider subscribing. It would really help out the channel. Until then, remember, buy whatever it is that you love. This is your watch collection. I'll see you in the next video.